Peter, I'm going to begin by offering our friends in the audience a little bit of your story. You were, you were, your story begins in 1944. Your mother was pregnant uh, with you. And uh, late in the evening, uh, there was a knock on the door. There was a knock on my grandfather's uh, door and the, the local parish priest came in and uh, he said, um, you, you, you want to remember your family is causing a, causing a scandal in the parish and I will be asking you to uh, take her out of the parish. And that's your mother, was that causing was a scandal mother, by being as, married as, out of... Yeah. And he wanted her out of, the parish. out of the parish. When did he want her out of the parish? Well, straight away. That there and then? Yeah, there and then, like, you know. And he said, I know where she can go to. And, and he meant by that? He meant by uh, uh, send her to Loch Ray. Now, that time there was no cares around. And under the cover of darkness, 12 o'clock at night, when my mother was seven months pregnant, he put her on the bar of the bike and cycled approximately at least 20 miles uphill, downhill, through the night in the dark. And she'd been seven months pregnant. You can imagine what discomfort she had going that lonely journey. And he, he, he took her out of the house and put yeah. her on, on the crossbar of the bike right. yes, for yes. 20 miles. For 20 miles. He had to, because he, he, he didn't want, they couldn't be, want to be seen in that, in that condition, like, you know. You, you were subsequently born, clearly, but, uh, in, and, and you were sent to the tomb mother and baby home, is, is that uh, right, yes. ultimately. But ultimately. out of the blue then, courtesy of Catherine's uh, work, yeah. Uh, in 2014, you discovered that you had a sister. Sister, out of the blue, Catherine rang one day. She said, I'm looking to the, uh, the, uh, the registers here that we got from Galway County Council, she says, and I, something here rings a bell to me. She says, the area um, uh, of where your mother's from seems to coincide, and also the name, of course, yes. that w could be a connection with with me, and I said, I never heard of that, like, you know, she had me baby. She was, she was always afraid to talk, like, and she, she was institutionalised, like, you know, yes. the time I met her. But, um, as I said, um, I was born in the UCSG, and I was weak or something, and she was sent to Tum prior to me. I was sent a few days later to join her in Tum. What, what happened to your sister, if I may ask you, Peter? Oh, sorry. And, That's uh, OK, take it. Yeah, she, 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 I don't know what happened to her. She's, I have a death cert and a birth cert and a birth and uh, a register of, of uh, being baptised. But they can't tell me where she is. Nothing? Nothing. And uh, it's on, uh, on the register that she, she died from convulsions. But at, at nine months old? At nine, nine, ten months old. So you know she died, but you have yeah. no idea where no her remains idea. are. But the, there's no medical record from anyone, from a, a nurse or a doctor, seeing who attended to her. It's only a, a, a woman who's also a single parent in there working that signed all those documents. She's all over the place, you know. What do you want to happen? You were there, you were in the home, you, you, you were... You I, were... I was there not four and a half years of age. I understand. But what I want is, um, where is she? Is she there? Where is she tonight? I don't know where she is. She could be like a, a number of other people, documents falsified. She could be... Uh, uh, sent to America and sold off. I do not know, but I need to know, and I will not rest until I find out 